Now to Akron, Ohio, and Sean Southwick, who has a riddle for us, which is absolutely state-of-the-art. What has five computers, two wheels, two solar panels, an electronic compass, a ham radio station, and a highly sensitive security system? Please do not touch these airs on. Answer, the Winnebago 2. Steve Roberts' unique combination of home, office, and transportation. A custom-made new entry into the Guinness Book of World Records, the highest high-tech bike in the world. Steve, for you, there really is no place like home. Well, home is where the bike is. <laughs> and I understand that's just about everywhere. Yeah, about 12,500 miles around the United States so far. So, uh, why the wanderlust? Well, it's a way to combine all of my passions into one lifestyle. By traveling and writing full time, I can continue, I can be a freelance writer while feeding myself with a huge variety of adventures. And the computerized bike lets me do business on the road. It's an electronic cottage on wheels. Would you give us a tour of this bike? Oh, certainly. There's a, a keyboard built into the handlebars, so while riding down the road, I can write an article. I type in binary combinations, just like playing a flute, except the output is text instead of music. That text appears on a screen in front of me there. So as I can edit a little article, just like in any other word processor, and at the end of the day, I can transfer the text from this machine into the Hewlett Packard Portable. Then at the, in that machine, I have a full-scale word processor, and I can then hook it up to the Genie Network through my modem at a payphone or any place, mm -hmm. and send it to my editor or to my own magazine or wherever it's going. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a number of other systems here, too. Of course, there's a security system, a speech synthesizer, a packet radio system that allows me to send and receive electronic mail from the road, and, of course, a ham radio station and all the other basic bicycle accessories. All of it runs on solar power. Two, two panels charge batteries, which let me run for a few days without sun, if necessary. Now, mechanically, it's interesting, too. is 36 speeds and disc brakes, both front and rear. And the total weight of the entire system, not including me, is 255 pounds. Now, if you think Steve's bike might get lonely on the road, don't you worry. It has an elegant companion. And so does Steve. It's Maggie Victor who shares his travels. Steve, you two seem to have succeeded in having it all and taking it all with you at the same time. Well, thank you for sharing your home with us. And as Johnny would say, may the sun always shine on your solar panels. <laughs> Well, that's about all we've got time for this week.